We are so excited because I think it actually works out that we're saving money and we've added Starlink. We're going to give you our take on that. We've also switched away from Verizon to something else and we're going to give you our take on that. Welcome to the channel. I'm Paul. And I'm Liz. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence and live amazing. And you will certainly live amazing if you have reliable internet out here on the road. <laughs> it is probably the number one issue for, for most people that do this life full time. It is very hard to get internet when you're out in campgrounds. I want reliable internet. So, so uh, Paul, if, if, if he really needs to have internet, we have been in places where we've had to leave early. He can last a couple hours, but not a full day without internet. Yeah, I'm a junkie to the internet and YouTube and, and the like. I mean, we've been in this life now for three and a half years, and we're just now getting it to where we have uh, what we consider reliable internet and, and a reliable phone service that's not breaking the bank every month. Right, and we are so excited because I think it actually works out that we're saving money. And we've added Starlink. We're going to give you our take on that. We've also switched away from Verizon to something else, and we're going to give you our take on that. Here's where it gets a little confusing. We're still on Verizon, but we're not with Verizon. So, so. <laughs> and we're saving, we've gone from uh, $160 a month to $50 a month. Um, but let's talk about Starlink, because everybody's talking about Starlink and um, it's satellite internet. Uh, there's been a long wait. It's been a couple years. Um, it's one of Elon Musk's companies. We were going to do a video about the setup, but the setup takes like 10 minutes. Most of that 10 minutes, you're just waiting. I mean, yeah. So all you do for Starlink is you plug in, you have a dish and you have a router. When I took this thing out of the box, uh, this thing dropped and this thing picks up dirt very easily. You want to look and make sure there's no dirt in the business end of this connector. Be careful wherever you're going to put this thing because you could damage the business end of this plug very easily. You plug the dish into the router. We ran the wire in the side of our slide and then you wait. Wait that... for it to find a satellite. And, yeah. yeah. And, and then you have very fast internet. So how fast is our internet? Well, we just checked it uh, and it was over 100 megabytes per second. Okay. Yes, yeah. it is so screaming fast. We have found that anything over five, we can yeah. kind of get by. But yeah, it's... five is a kind of the 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 act the bottom of the, is the bottom. And, and that's not with Starlink. With Starlink, we've been 60, 70, over 100. We've never had anything below 60. We've had it for a week, would you say? Yeah, just a week. So Starlink may not be for everyone. When we were in the Chesapeake area, we had a neighbor who had just gotten Starlink and he could not get it to work or work very well. Why? Well, it does not work with obstructions. It really needs a wide open sky. And we were in a leafy area and the trees were blocking the satellites and he was having outages every 40 seconds. Even where we are right now, there are some trees, but we've got a lot of blue sky above us and it's still, there's an obstruction because of one of the trees. Now we thought since they mowed the day before that our dish would be safe 20 feet behind our campsite. We were wrong. We ran out just in time to save our dish and cable. Therefore, we recommend to keep your dish inside your campsite boundary. So here's the thing, when you go to set up your dish, you can stand at the place that you wanna put the dish and there's something on the app that will tell you if it's a good site for it. Yeah. You open the app and you just are scanning, literally scanning the sky. That's not the only thing that, that you have to think about with Starlink. It does not work at all in a pouring down rain. It right. doesn't work very well in, in, in a moderate rain. And it does slow down a little bit with overcast. But if it's pouring down rain, if like we yeah, are, but... we're here on the east side of the country where it just rained for three days. Yeah, so it was in and out during the rains. I actually went on to AT&T AT and it was better. So these are things to think about. 
where if, if you're going to be stationary in an area where it regularly buckets down in rain and it buckets down all day long of heavy rain, this may not be for you. And we were just talking about Oregon. We love, we love that state, but there's a lot of rain there. A lot, lots of times it's just misty rain. So you're not going to have as fast speeds if it wasn't. Not to mention the trees. Yes. Yeah. So that's the, probably going to be the biggest, yeah. the biggest stopper for you. If you are surrounded by trees, we, you, we went and, and talked about campsites we've been in in the past that mm -hmm. were like, nope, wouldn't work here. Wouldn't yeah, work there. Where, where we met in Washington in Paradise, where we were parked, probably wouldn't have worked because nope. we had trees all around us. But don't let us talk you out of this because it is if it works for you, it's... Yeah, it's going to get you out here on the road. It's going to have you happy. Starlink recently introduced service for RVers. They will ship it immediately and you can use it right away. However, the service might be downgraded if you're in a populated area. Also, they advise against using Starlink while you're driving down the road. If you talk to full-time RVers, the longer they're on the road, ask them what their internet bill started out with. So we started out with one carrier, we started out with Verizon. We spent, you know, a hundred bucks a month. Then we added um, MyFi's, so we got up to 160. But yeah. we went to places where there was no Verizon coverage, so we added AT&T. This is a story that you'll hear from other full timers where they have two cellular carriers. So right. now we have, we still have Verizon, but we switched over. We we're going to talk about that in a second. So we still have two carriers but now we've added Starlink. We use Verizon, but it's through Visible. So we're, we're on Visible, but we also have, we are keeping our AT&T for internet. It's no phones, just internet. Because there are gonna be some places, if you're like us and you travel the country, there's gonna be some places where Verizon doesn't work. So it's good to have two, but we can't get rid of those because Starlink works where we are, but we're not taking it with us when we go out to the grocery or we go out exploring, we still need cellular. Right, you can't use Starlink as a phone. When we started looking what we were gonna do to get rid of this $160 a month bill with, with Verizon, we started looking at the phone plans out there and we settled on Visible. Visible is powered by Verizon, so it's the same cellular, the same coverage as Verizon, only it's cheaper. You can get it down to $25 a month if you join a, a party, which is it's really simple. So basically, Visible is $40 a month. It's unlimited. It's not super fast like Starlink, but it's plenty fast. Actually, if you mention our name, use our link below, your first month will only be $5. And if you're not buying a phone, I mean, that's all you're going to pay is five bucks. Right. And then you'll join a party plan. It's just you'll go into the app and you'll see there's parties already. It's just a group plan. It doesn't change anything, but the, you join this group, your $40 goes down to 25. Yeah. If there's four or more people in the group, it's 25 bucks. I think the group that we signed up for has got over 10,000. Yeah. It's a it. Reddit group. So it's just, yeah, it's just a checkbox yeah. that you do. Well, I found that visible was actually faster you know, when, maybe because I yeah. got a newer phone, I found it faster yeah. um, than Verizon. Yeah, it was faster on my, my but I, I got a new phone as well. I, I, uh, my phone was over three years old, three and a half years old. Mine was seven years old. Mine was an iPhone 6. <laughs> yeah. It was really old. They have a chat app where you talk to a real person. They've been unfailingly friendly, oh, positive, yeah. high five kind of help which has been wonderful. Yeah, I had a problem with setup that when I put the SIM card in, it didn't, for whatever reason, it didn't connect and, and I had to go on to chat. In five minutes, I was, uh, the phone was working. Again, if you say our name, you only pay $5 for your first month. So that's fabulous. Yeah, we'll have a your, link at below. Yeah. Yeah, save yourself some money and, and, uh, and just mention our name. The takeaway is that you need more than one answer if you're going to be out here for an extended amount of time or if you're going to be a full-time RV or if you're going to be working on the road. Mm -hmm. uh, this plan on having one or two cellular plans and then, um, you know, Starlink. We Starlink is a fast, just lightning fast. If you just browse the internet and use your phone, mm -hmm. you're probably going to be able to get by on just visible. You probably won't need Starlink. But if you're working on the roads, you're probably doing Zoom calls. You probably, you might have more of a complex internet need where you need the higher speeds. Um, that's where Starlink comes in. Right. And you could probably write it off as a business expense. 
Well, let us know your internet questions and any challenges that you have while you're on the road. Yeah, and uh, you're watching us on the internet right now, so that's how important it is. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. This tree is blocking my internet. Wait! <laughs>